call this feathered phenom a bird brain, because the parrot is a prodigy. Her name? You want to tell him your name? Einstein. Her name is Einstein, and she was named Einstein because she is so exceptionally smart. Say hi. Hello. Can be more polite? That's yes, sweetheart. Baby. Quack, quack, quack. This gifted gabber is a 23-year-old African gray parrot who lives at the Knoxville Zoo. Are you from Tennessee? <laughs> there you go. The species may be one of the chattiest in the winged world. No bird speaks her mind like Einstein. What do you like to drink? Beer. Yeah. Einstein is very talented. Um, I have never encountered another African Grey that can mimic the sounds that she mimics and so readily and so steadily on cue. Can you fall down? First, a quick lesson in aviary intelligence. Parrots are good at imitating different sounds because of all the muscles that they have in their throat that, they, that allows them to make those different sounds. Um, African greys in particular can actually imitate different people's voices. Are you evil? Ah, 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 ah. But Einstein doesn't just parrot. She actually responds to her trainer's questions, and she gets it right 99% of the time. Einstein, I've lost my dog. Can you call the dog? Come here. Come here. Einstein knows over 85 words on cue. What are you doing? And her vast repertoire comes from the sounds she hears around her. Like animals at the zoo. You do a cat? How about a chimpanzee? <laughs> and then there are some other, more human noises. Can you toot? Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to blame that one on my boss. Now that's foul. You, yeah.